hello viewers welcome to the real life show and this video is just made for the purposes of learning and educating one another inspiring and motivating ourselves from the real life insights from the things that we actually don't usually see but which can be brought to us by this show therefore please you are advised to watch up to the end because you will learn and you will know that when you are able to do something or when you are able to do anything you don't need to give excuses for it especially that it benefits you and for this we want to say that like the video share the video tag someone and for those who have not yet followed the real life show please do follow and we will bring you more of the educative videos that you have to see support our channel and stay blessed so right now I was I was telling him that we have come to see him and that he can also motivate us uh, according to what he is doing. Okay, he has told us that his names are Mr. Godfrey Mohau Tandavara. And he is saying that he lives by Luampa Mission Hospital. So he's telling that he has a, he has a condition which is a, which is, which has affected him. Even though he's he has a condition, but he finds time to farm. Fearing that if at all he just sits like that without uh, doing any farming activity, he might start st stealing from people. He's avoiding that. And he's saying that when, whenever possible, there are people who manage to buy from him and that enables him to find money to buy food. But the problem he's facing is that there are times when he doesn't have fertilizer. But when there is money, he manages to buy, but that's the challenge he's facing. So if there is anyone who can give and even the government, you can also help in and to all those well wishers, when you look at him, you can help when you see how his real life story is. And he's saying that he receives help from social welfare. Okay, and may, may I ask, Kana Munani Malaita Nebwan you? Okay, he's saying that uh, he's facing challenges with uh, with lighting. He doesn't have lighting in his house, and that's one of the challenges he's facing. Kana Kuri Kwabe Okay, he's telling us that he has a kitchen. Okay, so this is the kitchen which he's telling us that he cooks from. And it is just next to, to his house. Okay, oh, 
he's saying that he's just not staying here alone, but there is another woman that he stays that he stays with. Therefore, we would like to show you a bit uh, about his field so that you can see it. But for those who can help, please, you can help him. And uh, maybe just be before we we cut this part. Okay, so he is able to, to farm, but he is affected uh, by leprosy. I think many of us have just heard of it from the Bible, but this is a real life situation, but he is able to, to farm. Okay, so you can see but he is able to, to help himself and I believe that all of us are inspired by this and that from here we shouldn't give reasons and that we should be able to do whatever we can and for those who, who are able to help please tag the Z farmer, the radical farmer, let them see this they have someone who is also doing what they are doing okay Thank you for watching and welcome to the Real Life Show. Bye. Okay, so he is telling us that this is the maize that he planted and you can see it. As it, as it goes to, to that other direction, we'll show you the field very soon. Okay, uh, just look at this. It starts from here. It goes this way. And the only challenge I think he's facing is for him to, to manage it very well and to weed it, to apply fertilizer. I think, but, I, but you can see that most of the maize is, uh, is bare. Is, is bearing the corpse so you can see from there the field comes from where we started it extends it continues it goes there that's the field only that I cannot walk inside it but uh, you can see from here that it's, it's lengthy it's lengthy, it's not short. And these are the houses where they stay. It's uh, it's uh, isolated, I can say that it's isolated. So the, the other field cuts here, it continues from there. As you can see from where we disjoined, it continues from here. And this maze just looks so healthy. And a lot of people are not doing anything, they can't even farm. They just want maybe to be beggars or they want to be complaining that things are not happening in their life. But uh, this must be a very impressive story to you. Because if you see all this, this is his maze. It comes also up to here and it goes until it reaches that side.